Hi guys, this is just a quick and brief insight into the Ku Klux Klan which started in 1865 soon after black slavery was abolished following the American Civil War. It was formed by six former South American officers of the Confederate Army, namely Frank McCord, Richard Reed, John Lester, John Kennedy, J. Calvin Jones and James Crow in the law offices of Judge Thomas M. Jones in Tennessee. The KKK were a white supremacist group putting the fear of God into African Americans, Jews and Catholics. The shocking truth of those who joined the Klan were lawyers, priests, teachers, doctors, nurses, surgeons, police officers. You name it, they were all part of the Klan. Although slavery was abolished in 1865, the Jim Crow laws came into existence until approximately 1968. Just for information purposes, a white actor named Thomas Dartmouth Rice would paint his face and hands black with burnt cork and appear in several minstrel shows under the name Jim Crow, giving out negative vibes of the black people. Following a controversial movie by D.W. Griffith called Birth of a Nation, which portrayed black people as rapists and animals, the then president, Woodrow Wilson, signed segregation laws. With these laws in place, blacks could not vote or get an education. They even had to use different entrances to the cinema and toilets. Following this movie, the Klan salute began in 1950. They would wear pointy hats to hide their identity and robes to terrify people. Different robes depended on your superiority. They had porcelain dolls. If you saw the arm attached to the porcelain doll, it meant that you are safe to discuss any clan topic. If the left arm was detached, it meant that it was not safe to discuss private clan affairs. On the bottom of the porcelain doll, there are initials K-I-G-Y, which means Clansmen, I greet you. As many of you already know, the Nazi salute was with the right arm. However, the clan use a left arm with the spaces in between their fingers representing the four Ks, Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. A high-ranking clansman by the name of David Curtis Stevenson was charged and sentenced in 1925 following the horrific brutal rape and murder of a young white woman. This left the clansman's reputation in tatters and gradually, over time, it saw the decline of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah.